Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I want to specifically mention the stuff that I got from thrifting. I went thrifting actually every week, I would say at this rate. Um, my favorite store is obviously Salvation Army and I've been going there like twice in the past three days which is like friday night because they have a 75 percent off and on saturday as well and i just want to show you the stuff that i got right now um on both of those sessions where i go to salvation army so let's get started so i'm gonna start this haul with the shoes first because i love shoes so much and the first shoes that i got is this bcbg max at Az azria flat heels and i actually got this for super cheap and really love it it's um i mean barely worn i think uh, i just need to clean it up a bit but it's pretty chic the next item that i got this is actually not from salvation army this is from like a goodwill nearby my aunt's house this is a boots from 14th and union if you don't know this brand this is a nordstrom brand so they actually are pretty expensive i think the original price is like about 90 bucks um but yeah it's a great gray suede and i think it's barely worn still pretty good condition the only catch with this is it's size 11 but i got this for pretty cheap so that's why i'm fine with it the next item that I got from Salvation Army is this Abound um, Mules. Abound is another Nordstrom brand. It's I think the original price is probably about like $80 or something or maybe $39. I think it's about $39 actually. Um, so yeah, it's in real, really pretty silver color. It's really cute and it's super comfy as well. It's in a size 6.5 so a bit in smaller size but it's actually fit me quite well. And yeah, I got this for less than 5 bucks. So pretty good. Um, the next item that I got is from Salvation Army as well. This is a new set of guest heels. I really love the detailing here and it's also still barely worn um yeah it's a good pick and yeah let's say a lot this is cool the next item that i got is this blue pointed heels and you still can see the price right here it was on 25 percent off but i'm planning to keep these heels myself because last time i got the shoes like this in black and i sold it and felt so upset i really like these shoes planning to wear it on you know like any special occasion or if a formal attire is needed it's gonna be a very long haul so bear with me now i'm gonna move on to pants and bottoms i got these pairs of jeans from um levi's jeans it's not any special levi's it's just a white jeans and it's um still new still has tags on it uh, I got this in Goodwill. It's still in great condition. I'm gonna plan to sell it maybe around $35, $40. The next item I got is this brand Victoria Secret Pink with this little puppy on the side. I've never actually sold pink myself in either Poshmark, Mercari, or Vinted. So I'm gonna give this a try. I heard around that pink is a very popular brand to sell. So hopefully this does well. Uh, the next item that I got, I'm gonna probably jump around between top and pants, but I got this Zara sweater. It's a white color and it's still brand new with tag. Original price was $36 and all the pearls are still in tag. You even got extra pearls, so I'm gonna list this in Poshmark for somewhere less than $35, maybe $20 or so. The next item that I got, well, this is sold actually. The next item that I got is this J Crew. Um, you can see the price. This J Crew uh, sleeveless top. It's really pretty with all these ruffles. You know, it has a character. It's also 100% silk, so it's really cute um, and good. And this actually sells. This brand J Crew sells pretty well in Poshmark, so I'm gonna list it in Poshmark for some somewhere around twenty dollars. The next item that I got is this BB dress. <laughs> the the pattern is actually pretty eye catching. I got this for super cheap in Salvation Army, and the catch is it's a size XXS, and it has a little blue mark here. It's not super apparent, so that's fine. I think I'm gonna list it in Poshmark for something like twenty five dollars or so. 
the next item that I got and I feel so upset about is actually this uh, J. Crew brand. I got this for super cheap, below a dollar. The problem is that I didn't pay attention. There's a little hole there, but overall, you cannot really tell. It's actually merino wool and it's a slim fit, so it's super awesome. I'm gonna sell it in Poshmark and other application for probably $5. Um, the next item that I got is this free people dress. <sighs> free people is always so expensive. I was just lucky once I got it for cheap. But this is the free people size large. It's a dress like this. I'm not normally a big fan of free, pe free people. The only reason why I grab it is because I can easily sell it. But I got this for pretty expensive compared to other stuff. Definitely more than $10. If you have any um, suggestions for me where to look for free people, please let me know because it's not easy at all. Um, the next item that I got is this Lululemon tank top. I was super happy to see this Lululemon tank top for like 3 bucks, And I saw the front turn up. There is like a stain in the front. But I'm gonna plan this for a uh, plan to sell this for cheaper. So hopefully that helps. This is a tank top from Forever 21. I find out that in Poshmark, uh, you don't need exactly brand all the time. Like something fun like pineapple, you know, leaves, something summery and like a flash. Something graphic like that would do well. So I'm planning to sell this on Poshmark for about $12. The next item that I got is this really pretty um, top, 100% silk from Banana Republic. And I don't know how much this is going to sell, but I really love the color, the stripes. It's really summery, perfect with like the color red or jeans. The next item that I got is a skirt from Lust. I was so happy to find this for 69 cents. Again, there's a catch. There's actually like a missing lace over here. But overall, if you look from afar, it's not really obvious. I'm planning to sell this in Poshmark for like $7 maybe. The next item that I got is really similar to previous one. It's kind of lacy, tweedy. Um, this is, oh, you can see the price. J. Crew, um, like that. It's really pretty and elegant. I don't know, something about Poshmark. I feel like a lot of people in Poshmark is, you know, looking into more like, um, how to say, like hippie style, you know, street style. Not a lot of people actually looking for preppy, more formal style. But unfortunately, my style is like that. And this is one item that I really like, but I don't know how well it's going to sell on Poshmark. But nothing wrong about giving it a try. I'm gonna sell this in Poshmark for about $20 maybe. And guys, when I say $20, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna sell it for $20. Obviously, my closet is always op open for offers. So any offer that you have in mind, feel free to send it to me and I'm gonna give you a response. You know, if it's not good enough, then I'm gonna give you a counter offer. If not, then I'll let you know. The next item that I got from Salvation Army is this Topshop t-shirt in size two. The only, well, not the only, I really like the belt detail here and also it's really cute that the back is actually mesh. So it's really cute that, you know, like it's really boyish in the front and really feminine at the back. Um, yeah, I would totally wear this myself. It's really good condition, like the material is really comfortable. So I hope that people will get this. I'm gonna sell this in Poshmark for less than $20, but we'll see how much I'm gonna sell it for. The next item is this another pink Victoria secret item. It still has a tag hanging um on the item itself. This is in really pretty like summery color, I think. Yeah, just like a lot of blue, violet and pink. Um I'm gonna sell this maybe for twenty dollars. Check out my Poshmark closet. The next item that I got is this top from Joa. Um, original price for this item is like 180 or something like that, which is super crazy. It's all silk. I really love the style. Their clothes is always so feminine, casual, versatile, minimalist. So I really love it. And I'm planning to sell this for $35 at the moment. Another item that I got is this blazer. It's another 69 cent item. It's 
really cute because it's almost like Burberry. The detail that catch me is the sleeve. So the back of the sleeve around the this area, elbow, is like a uh, fake leather and also the back has some character as you can see it's really cute um it's still in a great condition so i'm gonna sell this for 15 dollars the next item that i get is a skirt from ann taylor here it is i know i know ann taylor stuff don't sell really well in poshmark but when something is really pretty you just cannot miss it so I really like the zipper detail here. It's really different. The color is contrasting. I'm planning to sell this in Poshmark for maybe like about 20-ish dollar. The next item that I got is another free people item. We cannot zoom, huh? Okay, so this is a sweater. And I don't know, like I mentioned earlier, I'm never a big fan of free people, but this is one of the more legit free people items that I found, so I got it. Planning to sell this on Poshmark for $45 maybe. The next item that I got is Akira Chicago. I don't know how popular Akira is in um, Poshmark. This is my first time selling it. So this is actually a size large, a little bit bigger, but I feel like these days people are so crazy about the suede sure and this is like a suede black lace up bodycon dress and i feel like it's just bam 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 it's gonna do well in poshmark i'm gonna sell it about 15 dollars or so the next item that i hit up in salvation army is this peplum uh, top from banana republic here it is it's in size size four so it's my size actually or a little bit bigger maybe but it zips up at the back you can see i just totally open it it's in great condition i love the pattern it's just so grandeur so elegant and i'm probably gonna sell this one starting from 25 dollars okay so this one i just got it like yesterday yeah and I sold it right away this morning. So this is a newer cabbie. I actually grabbed an older cabbie a few weeks ago and I was really disappointed because it's been sitting in my closet for like two weeks or so. And that's actually pretty long for me. Um, and then yesterday I found this newer cabbie label and I looked it up on the style number and stuff and I found out that this is new. This is like from fall collection of like 2017. So yeah, I got pretty good deal. This is still in like a really good condition also and the material is just so good. Um, yeah, I just sold it with actually together with the cabbie item that I got like two weeks ago. So bear with me, I have a few more items here in the line. Um, continuing with free people, I got this free people item yesterday, probably the cheapest free people item I've ever got. I actually sold it right away about like 10 minutes after I posted, so I really, I'm really lucky and I'm ready to ship this yes, uh, today. <laughs> yesterday. The next item I got is this J Crew new with tag item. Um, it's still in really great condition, nothing wrong with it. The original price written here is $88, so I'm gonna post this on Poshmark about $25 or so. so. Here. The next item that I got is super crazy, guys. This is Elise and Olivia, the designer item. Um, got this for $8.99 but this is the second time I get Alice and Olivia that's less than 10 bucks so when I check the price of this dress um, it is actually about $380 or something and this is still new it is so crazy the only catch about it is it's supposed to have like a bow here but it actually doesn't really matter if you look at the dress this actually is functional the way it is really pretty in a size XS so yeah I'm gonna sell this for about $89 We'll see. I haven't even sold my first Alice and Olivia, but when I see this, I'm like, there's no way I'm rejecting this dress. And the next item that I got is this J. Crew size 10 item. I heard somewhere on YouTube that Poshmark people is like really crazy about something that's eye catching. So when I saw this um, top, I was like, dang, this is actually pretty catchy. Like, I really like the. Um, design of the pattern the color is not too crazy and i really love just like how it is binded you know like there's binding finishing all around the um, top and the material is so crazy good i wonder what's the material it feels like silky 
me see. Yeah, it's 100% silk, so that's crazy. Um, yeah, this is nice. Fortunately, not my size. The next item that I got is this really cute scallop cardigan from Eddie Bauer. I've never sold Eddie Bauer myself, but this is just way cute, guys. There's no way I'm rejecting this. Um, yeah, um, it's a bit glittery. It's in a size L, so a little bit bigger, but it still can work as an oversized sweater as well. The next item that I got is this pink, Victoria's Secret pink again, a mini skirt. It has this little puppy on the side, really cute and pink. Um, as you can see, here's the big logo right here. Um, this is in a size, what is it, 6. And I think I have this listed in about $24 or something on Poshmark. The next item that I got is this new with tag t-shirt from Zara that says which mood i really love the style is really current you can pair this up with a mom jeans or just really slouchy style its original price is about 23 dollars. i have this listed uh about 20 dollars because i love this so much and i don't really want to let this go and this is in a size s which is actually my style my size the next item that I got is another Joa item. If you don't know what it is, here it is, the brand. Um, this is in really pretty green color. I think the original price is about $150. And I'm listing this about $25 or something. The next item that I got is this Lululemon tank top. Um, here it is. It is actually from the style from 2013 after looking at Lulu Fanatics website. It's really pretty. Uh, it's in really good condition actually. I really like the color too. I actually have this up around $35 or so on Poshmark. The next item that I got is this really basic but cute Madewell sweater in gray. Yeah. A lot of people like it already. I posted on Poshmark and I think I have this up as about $35 or so. The original price of this item is quite expensive. I don't remember how it is, but something I cannot afford. The next item that I got is, sorry, this is long haul. Um, the next item that I got is this White House Black Market sweater. This is my first White House Black Market item. It's really comfortable, it's oversized, and I'm selling this for about $25. The next item I have is actually already sold. Um, J Crew size S sweater. It's oversized in black, and I'm selling this for about fifteen dollars, I believe. The next item that I got is this Atleta um, tank top. Somewhere in YouTube, I saw that this kind of tank top actually does pretty well. The only catch is the color. I'm not really crazy about the neon pink color, but still pretty well. I am listing this about twenty eight dollars i believe okay in the workout spirit of workout theme i also got another lululemon item and this is from 2013 uh style again it's really cute still look and is great condition and i'm listing this about 35 dollars or 38 dollars or so you can look at the detail in my poshmark closet down link uh i'll link i'll put the link down below so hard my brain is not quite in my head the next item is this snow brand uh, dress but it's still in good condition still has tag really cute color in tan a really great material i have a feeling this is polyester 100 percent polyester machine friendly and i have this listed around 15 dollars on my poshmark the next item that I got is the Zara New with Tag off the shoulder top. Uh, I'm actually digging this myself. The original price of the item is fifty bucks, forty nine ninety, and I have this listed around twenty five dollars, I believe. Go check out in my closet. I really love this. It's perfect for summer. Also, I heard that this spring and summer, the trend is actually just like poofy uh, layered sleeves. So this does the job well. Yeah. And then the next item that I have, almost done. 
is this halter neck, not halter neck, actually v-neck, deep v-neck Zara jumpsuit. I really love the color and the print. It's just so elegant and feminine. Um, the original price of this item is about $70 and I have this listed around $35, I believe. And it's like, um, what is it, like open, you know, white leg, like a cloth at the end. So I've seen a few like Instagrammers actually wearing this. So this is a really cool. The last item, guys, the last item. The last item that I got from Salvation Army is Alexander Wang. Really popular. The moment I actually listed, I got five flags right away. And this is uh, like a great wrap, like draped dress, not dress at top. And I don't know how much original price is really expensive, probably like over $100. I have this listed at $32 on Poshmark. Still in great condition materials also amazing so i think that's all that i got this weekend it's really crazy i shop way too much but guys it's inventory so no big deal hopefully i can sell this quick i'm actually i actually posted this in poshmark already so if you're interested go check the link down below but if you're also looking or you have another account i'm also gonna cross post this on mercari which is another app i'm also gonna link my closet mercari closet link down below i'm also gonna post it in my vintage account and i'm gonna put my link down below as well i don't know which account you have i like cross listing because i feel like some stuff might have difficulty being sold in one platform and it might be easier also as much as possible i try to send sell my stuff on vintage if you don't know already vintage is like they don't take commission off of you so whatever selling price you ask them then that's what you're getting mercari is 10 percent um commission so they take 10 percent off of your selling price and the last one is poshmark 20 percent off which is where i make most of my sales because i'm more most active in poshmark just because i know the platform the most but um it'd be nice if like you know i get the full selling price right so whatever your platform whatever platform you're on though regardless if you're interested in any of this item feel free to see check out my closet down below and that's it for today's haul hopefully you enjoyed it and see you in the next video bye